Hey everybody, welcome back. Great news today for those of you who are looking to get rid of all your wires possible and not be tethered to your PC for PC VR gaming. Intel has just announced their new Wi-Fi 6 chipset which can directly connect the MetaQuest to your computer. Let's check it out. All right, so that's what Intel has to offer here for what they're calling their double connect technology. So basically what it is, is they're claiming that the Wi-Fi 6E chip is going to be containing one hop instead of two hops in order to connect wirelessly from your headset to your PC. So basically with the two hop system you're getting about 30 milliseconds of lag um, depending on your setup whereas this new chip is only going to get one hop so it's basically just going to go from your straight from your computer straight to the headset which is really cool because if it really works like it should then you really will be getting a, a really good increase as far as latency goes um I personally don't have any problem whatsoever using my Wi-Fi 5 router. Um, they say that Wi-Fi 6 is the best possible thing to do uh, when you're trying to connect wirelessly with your Quest 2 to your PC. Um, like I said, I'm on Wi-Fi 5 and it works great. I do have my Wi-Fi router in my room and I do have it wired into my PC. Um, I use virtual desktop and I experience virtually no latency at all. So this is kind of just to make it, I suppose, for having 100% Wi-Fi, no wires invi involved at all. Uh, basically, if you have a router in another room, I take it. Um, I still would not do that because you want to have the fastest connection as soon as possible uh, to your router. So I like to always have my router in the same room as where I'm gaming. But for some of you that can't, this might be a great, great possibility, and it may work fantastic. I would like to know in the comments below if any of you already have this. Um, it's basically showing that it works with any 13th gen um, Intel chips and motherboards. And also it kind of shows that you have Acer, Dell, Lenovo, MSI, Zotac, ASRock, and Gigabyte in order to find those motherboards uh, that are going to be compatible with this. So that's really cool. That's kind of all the information I have on it. It's just another quick, simple way in order to connect wirelessly and be 100% wire-free for your Oculus Quest 2 to your computer. I think any latency that you can, you know, fix and help with that render delay is always a great thing. So let me know in the comments, once again, if any of y'all are planning to do this, or if you have a 13th gen motherboard and a CPU already, I personally do not. So basically, I would have to upgrade all my stuff for this to even work. My setup, it works great already with my Wi-Fi 5, so I don't think I'm going to upgrade but I'd like to know how it works. I'd really like to see the future of this technology. And uh, if it's definitely less than 5 milliseconds, which I kind of feel like my setup already is, I would really like to know because then that would probably speed up the process even more. As always, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you on the next episode.